All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Iris Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.21.5, along with installing Fabric, and then on top of that, Sodium, so that you can have all of the wonderful, good-looking, stellar visuals of shaders with the performance boost of Sodium built on top of that. So to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and download the Iris Shaders mod itself right here by clicking download now, and I'm going to download the Universal Jar. Uh, there are other downloads available for this, but the Universal Jar works the best because it just installs the mod and it, it works on pretty much every platform that runs Minecraft. And then I did download from the minecraftshader.com website, a few that are compatible with Minecraft 1.21.5. Uh, I just grabbed the ones that were labeled best here as I search down this list. And these are things like the BSL shaders, complementary shaders, Silders, Vibrant shaders, and Bliss shaders. Just the top results, and then you can kind of mix and match and play with them to see which ones you like later. So to get started, let's go ahead and open up that folder. And here inside this folder, we have all of our mods ready to go, but we do have one step we have to do before we can install them. And that is you need to grab Minecraft, run and download the latest version. In this case, it's 121.5, because that's what this tutorial is for. Hit play so that you download and boot up that version of Minecraft and then create a new world once it's all booted up. We'll just go to single player and we will make a brand new world. Cool test world. And then we'll just create new world. The whole idea here is that it loads this at least once to make sure everything is downloaded and functioning properly. Then we can just save and quit the title and then exit out of here. From there, we're going to double click the Iris installer here at the top. Now, normally you'd probably think, well, Larry, isn't Iris and also Sodium, like aren't these like fabric mods? And the answer is yes, but this installer handles all of them at once. So you can do Iris only or Iris and fabric and we'll just let it install to the default directory of .minecraft, and we want version 121.5, although if you have an older version of Minecraft you're trying to install it for, you can totally just use this pull-down menu. What this is gonna do is it's just gonna download and install the right version of the mods for you. And then I'm just going to hit the install button, and it should do the rest for me. Apparently I found an existing mod folder in my Minecraft folder, uh, I'm just going to say yes, update and install Iris. Go ahead and do that, and it says completed. And now, if I open up my Minecraft launcher, it does have the fabric version loaded in my pull down because you can pull down and, and grab like version 121.5 or fabric loader for 121.5, which is the modded version we just installed. That's the one we would want. But what I want to do is actually go to installations and then here at the top, it says the same thing, fabric loader. I want to hover my mouse over that and click the folder. That'll automatically open it up to the location where my Minecraft is installed. And I can look at what is here inside of my mod. So it's got Iris fabric, which is a unified mod these days and sodium. So I guess I didn't need to download sodium. It just does that stuff for me. So it does all in one. So you don't need to worry about that. And now all we have to do is install our shaders. So normally you have a resource packs folder, but you may not have a shader packs folder. Looks like I've got old uh, outdated versions of shaders from earlier this year. I'm gonna just delete that folder entirely. So the whole idea is if you don't see a shader packs folder inside your mod folder or your Minecraft folder, I should say, not your mods folder, but if you look around and you're like, Larry, I don't have a shader packs folder. What do I do? You just make one. You just go right click somewhere off to the side and create a new folder and just call it shader packs. And then you're good. 
you can now just deposit all of your shaders inside of here. Now the fun part about shaders is that you don't even need to unpack them from this zip archive, this WinRAR folder. You can just copy all of these over and just plunk them right into your shader pack file. So now they will all be recognized by Iris and Sodium. So from here, all we have to do is launch the fabric version of Minecraft that we just installed. So I'll just click play. You can also just select it from this pull down menu over here off to the left hand side of the main launch window. And then you can just click the big play button in the center of the screen as well. And then it'll warn me, hey, just so you know, you're about to play like a modded version of Minecraft. We can't guarantee what will happen. I'll just be like, that's fine. I've done this by choice. I know what I'm getting myself into because I'm fancy. So now that we're loading into Minecraft, you're probably telling yourself, Larry, this doesn't look like a fancy shader pack. This looks like vanilla Minecraft. And you're right, because we need to turn them on. So we're going to hit escape. We're going to go to options. We're going to go to video settings. This is going to look a little different because these are the special versions and settings for sodium. And at the top, we're going to click on shader packs. And this is where we have all of the different packs that you have just deposited into the shader pack folder. So I've got Bliss, I've got BSL, Complementary, Unbound, and Vibrant from Silder. Let's go with Bliss. I've not played with the Bliss one yet. We can apply the Bliss shaders. It might lag for a moment, just like fair warning, but it should be okay. There we go, it's all done. And now when I load out into the world, oh look, we got like cool volumetric fog, we've got sun rays. The grass has got new shading on it. The, the cows still look like cows because I don't have a fancy resource pack. But that's one version. And we can go back and we can kind of jump between all of these different shaders until we find the one that we like. By just clicking on the shader pack name, clicking apply, and then once it's done loading everything, we can click done. And then we can just check which one we feel is the best fit for us. And there's a lot of shader packs out there. You can make it look cartoony. You can make it look hyper realistic with these great like reflections off that water over there that makes the water look better than it looks in real life, which is a testament all to itself considering the terrain in here looks like it's made of blocks. So there you go. That's how you install Iris shaders, which installs sodium fabric and the Iris mod all in one. You don't need to download more than one mod installer for that. All you have to do is go grab some shaders that you think look good, and I will link you to all of this stuff in the video description below. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.